Today, I'm going to be talking about these Lumery Smart Recessed Lights. They replace the light bulbs in a 6-inch or 5-inch recessed light, and then it provides the light in the center that's either warm white or to over to cool white, and then has the 16 million different variations of colors around the edge of the light that you can control. So I'm going to get this unboxed get it installed, and then show you what some of the options are in the Google Home and the Amazon Assistant, as well as try to integrate it in Home Assistant. So let's see how this goes. Full disclosure, Lumery did give me the money for these, but everything you're gonna see in this review is my opinion. They're not reviewing the content or telling me what to say or anything like that. So it's my full and honest opinion on these devices. So let's go ahead and get them opened up. I'm gonna grab this one here i already scored it so i can open it easily and let's see what's inside we have looks like an instruction manual with uh, lots of instructions in here it's pretty thick actually and then we have the light itself and it looks like it's separate from the insert that goes into where the bulb sits so this is like an aftermarket product that replaces the bulb itself in your unit, but not the whole can for the can lights. So it looks like this screws in to the normal bulb location, and then it clips together for the wiring to the unit. Um, and we'll have to see how this goes in. It just has three little prongs up here. So let me grab the instructions, and I'll show you what it's like to get it installed. For testing purposes, I'm going to be using a recessed light in our master bedroom. This is in our long-term location where we're going to store it, but I thought it'd be really easy to get it installed and get it tested. So the installation steps seem extremely easy. I turned off the power. I'm going to remove the light bulb that's here. And we're going to set this one aside. And I'm going to take the um, piece that goes into the light bulb socket and has the wiring on the end and insert that. Has a nice grip on the black piece of this to ensure that you can grab it in this confined space. My fingers are a little bit thicker um, than others, so maybe that'll be even easier for other folks, but wasn't even that hard for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the, or, or I guess connect the initial connection for the uh, um, light bulb, or the light itself, and then see if we can slide this up and in. So with this style of can, apparently it does not actually um, properly fit there, but I am going to go ahead and test the light to see how it works and, um, you know, check it with the, all the other uh, functions. And then we'll have to think about where we want to install this long term. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the power back on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the iPad and we'll get the app installed. First step is to go ahead and download the Lumery app. And we'll open up the app and get signed in. And then once we have the Lumery app, we're going to add the device. So we're going to hit the plus sign, add the device, and hit continue. And then we need to power cycle the light. Once you power cycle the light, it goes back to what they call the breathing. And it's trying to add this device. And it says it was added successfully. We're just going to leave it with that name. So at this point, we should be able to adjust the light settings. So we should be able to turn it off and turn it on. Adjust the brightness of the light. And you can see how it instantaneously responds. And if we click on it, we can actually choose different variations of the light so we can make it warmer um, which in our instance you know if we get somewhere in the warm section that's going to match our other lights in this room much better um, as opposed to the more blue cool setting so we like the warmer lights so that's what we would go with 
and it, it has you know the night or reading or working and if we just do the night that's uh it's pretty um you know warm there i think i'm gonna go with just one of the settings that i had something maybe like that that's pretty warm and then the auxiliary light we can turn that on and you can see immediately that lights up and it has red. Actually, I'm going to turn off the main light so you can see the auxiliary even better, how that lights up and has the red glow around it. And then if we adjust the brightness of that. You can see how that responds there. And we can go in and we can adjust. Actually, we can adjust each individual section. And we can go ahead and color the whole thing blue. Or if we want, say, green for some of it. We can color some of it green. So that's the control within the app here. And it looks like there's some other options that we could do. Oh, there's uh, some presets here. So fireworks at C. And you can see how that responds and close with the different colors here. Um, a variety of different colors here. There's a late autumn. That looks like that might be a little neat. Yeah, so that that's some pretty interesting things here. I want to go ahead and try to get it connected over to the Amazon Assistant, Google Home, and Home Assistant, which is our platform of choice here. All right, it looks like you do the connections over to the voice assistants directly from the app here. So let me try to go into the app and we go into their user area. We have a third party services. So I'm going to try to do a and sign in with Amazon. And once I got it connected here, I'm going to jump over to the Amazon Assistance app. All right, now I'm in the Amazon Assistant app, and we can see what we can do with the power. So if we turn it off or turn it on, that properly works there. Let's see if we can change the color. So it looks like we have the shades of white, which I would assume would handle the center. It does not turn that on right away. So you can pick the colors down here, but you can't turn the main part of the light on or off, it looks like, from within the app. Because if I pick the shades of white, it doesn't actually um, turn that part on. So let's take a look at Google Home. And again, we're in the Lumery app, and we're going to click on the Google Assistant and link with our Google Assistant. All right, now I got it into the Google Home app. And we're going to see what we can do here. I can turn it off, turn it back on. And it looks like we have the same kind of setup as what we did in Amazon Assistant, where we can change the colors of the outside ring, but not the actual um, light itself. So I'm going to go back and change the settings in the Lumery app and turn on the main light and then see what happens when I get over to the Amazon Assistant as well as Google Home. So we can dim the main light with this selection. The color here, we can change it, okay. So if it's on already, then we can change it, but we can't change it when it's off. So if we can't turn it on unilaterally. We can turn the whole unit on or off from the Amazon Assistant. We can change the shades for the internal, and we can change the colors for the outside. I'm going to jump over to Google Home, and I believe we're going to have the same results there. So now over in Google Home, we can hit the on-off button, and that turns the whole device on or off. Let's see what happens when we do the dimming. Yes, that indeed dims the center light, and we can turn that back up. And the color... See if we can change the center light from this one. We can, okay. So the first set are for the center light. And then once we get down to the colored lights, that would be for the outside. So we can flip those around. So we do have full control over the colors of the outside, the colors of the center, and then a full on or off. We can't individually switch the outside or the center light on or off with the Amazon assistant, I'm not going to say her name, she, she, she who shall not be named, um, or the Google Home assistant. So some some features there that, you know, work, but maybe you're not 100% of what we're looking for. I am going to go ahead and try it here to see what happens when I ask the Google assistant for a few things. Hey, make the study lights red. 
Okay, changing the Lumeri 6 inches retrofit recess can lights D1 to red. Hey, turn off the study lights. Sure, turning off the Lumeri 6 inches retrofit recess can lights D1. So you can see I can interact with it via the uh, Google Assistant and it all works. It does the same functionality as what it does within the app. So now I'm going to jump over to Home Assistant and see what we can get set up there. So this gets set up under the Tuya connection. So let me get that going here. The direct Tuya integration in Home Assistant does not seem to work well with the Lumery. So it doesn't look like you can do that. I'm going to try a local Tuya integration and see if I can get around it that way. So I went into Hacks and selected the local Tuya. And let's see if this will allow for us to get it connected. Well, I wasn't successful integrating everything on the local Tuya because I didn't have the account set up fully and I wasn't looking to go out to Tuya and create an account there and pull the data from the web for the local key and everything else I needed there. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that step here, um, assuming that it would have the same functionality if I went through all those steps to uh, get it integrated as what the Google Home and the Amazon Assistant have. I had really high hopes and expectations of this device, and I had a lot of uh, plans for this device as well. I planned on using the LED around the edge to monitor the status of our security system, for example. So we could have it red if it was armed or orange or something like that if it was armed, and maybe put these somewhere um, like over our kitchen sink where we have a single light bulb on a single switch that we usually have on all the time with the center light or maybe even our laundry room. The other idea that I had for the use case was to indicate whether or not you know, different appliances um, were on or off or finished, or if our garage doors were open or closed, or our doors were locked or unlocked. Um, and the final final item I thought of was the time of use. So what is our electricity price? Is it the high, the middle, or the low price? So giving indications that way, maybe a, a red, blue, and green type pricing setup on there. So I had lots of ideas uh, that I was going to use this for, uh, but they didn't come to fruition for a variety of reasons that I'll cover in just a minute. So the good about the Lumery, it was super easy to install. It did integrate very easily with Google Home and Amazon Assistant, and the LEDs are really cool. They're individually addressable, and it's definitely a good setup there. The cool to warm light on the down light, really cool. So those are the positives. As far as the negatives, the lack of integration into Home Assistant, the lack of being able to install it, in my house with the way our our down lights are set up our, our can lights where it's smooth and then it comes down at an angle and we have the uh, lack of integration with google home and amazon assistant as far as being able to do the addressable for the center down light and the outside leds as on off toggles you can't do that you can just change the colors if they're on if they're off you can't even turn them on um, you, you can only do the whole unit on or off in those and for Home Assistant, you'd have to integrate through one of those voice assistants through the cloud-based system. So those are the, the negatives that I have. And, um, you know, your mileage may vary. Definitely take that into consideration before you make the purchase. So these aren't the light bulbs for me. But if you have a can light that has the lines and you can snap it in, and you're okay utilizing the Google Home or Amazon Assistant the way it would work, then, then that's up to you and an option for you. I'll link it in the description below in case it fits your needs, but again, didn't fit my needs, and there's definitely positives and negatives about this unit. Thanks for watching my Lumery 6-inch downlight installation and review. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss future reviews where I give my honest feedback and opinions.